Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning to you, and welcome to Thursday morning prayer and devotion. In our praise reports this morning, I want to share with you a victory report concerning COVID. Uh, John Bates is recovering well from his battle with COVID pneumonia. We received that praise report in our church service last night, so we thank the Lord for that. Also, the COVID lockdown at Bingo Residential Care has been lifted, and we were able to have uh, guests back in service with us last night from that facility. Kristen Contino is praising the Lord for her dad's successful vertebrae, vertebrae fusion surgery, so we celebrate that with her. And he does need prayers for continued recovery and pain relief after the surgery. Also, several others who have had surgeries that need uh, continued prayer as, as they recover. Brenda Storm, Sister Cindy, Shelly Jordan, Steve Cummins, Carson Dowdy, Judy Williams, Sister Paula, Pastor Mickey Lewis, Bonnie Pulaski's daughter Patty, Carmen's Uncle Bob, Melanie Whitman, Aubrey Vickery, Rue, and then also uh, Blake Freeman, who's recovering from an auto accident. And as I mentioned, John Bates, who is continuing to recover and is doing well. Uh, Beth Yandel will be having surgery on October 22nd, so let's pray for her that all will go well for her with that. Uh, we need to pray for peace and comfort for several families uh, this morning. Um, I'm sorry to have to report to you that Jerry Williams passed away, uh, although he did pass peacefully yesterday morning after his battle with cancer and with COVID complications. So we ask that you keep his family in your prayers. This is Sister Beth Wheatley's uncle, and so that family needs our uh, strength of prayer today. Robert Wicks also passed away yesterday afternoon after a long battle with cancer. So remember his wife, Joy, and the rest of their family in your prayers today. We also need to continue praying for strength and comfort for the families of Reverend David Phillips, Darla Stevens, and Charlene, as uh, each of these families are grieving the loss of their loved one. Carmen's cousin Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington all need healing and restoration after stroke. Uh, this week we have had praise reports on behalf of both Kelly and Sheila, and so we thank the Lord for the progress that they are making. Um, in our other physical needs today, we have several with lung and respiratory issues, Cheryl LaChance, Robbie Northrup, Kendra Ortiz, Bonnie Pulaski, Mike Hodge, who's recovering from pneumonia. Uh, there are over 100 cases of COVID still active in Stoddard County. So let's continue to pray about that. I do believe I saw in the news that the numbers are starting uh, to go back down now from the uh, Delta variant. So we're thankful for that. Uh, stomach issues, Olivia, Terry Adams, Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Pastor Mark Godby's daughter with gastroparesis. Uh, we also need to pray for Regina's granddaughters who have sinus infections. Jamie Jo Shepard needs prayer for healing of her liver. Brother Marty DeLott and Brother Riley March suffer with MS. We have several with back issues. Britt Moore, Terry Adams, James Graham, Michael Parrott, Carol Dixon's pastor, Tammy Lawson, and Pam Poyum's daughter, Jenny. Renee is struggling with mobility issues due to problems with her hips and knees. Angela Graham has been having trouble with her hips recently. Rebecca Williams has been having pain in her legs. Jean Brightwell has arthritis and disc inflammation. Brenda's friend Melvin had a heart attack recently due to kidney failure and is on dialysis and is needing open heart surgery. Brother Neil's dad has stage four renal failure and has congestive heart failure. We have several others with heart and kidney issues. Uh, Sister Robin Schutz's father, Michael Turner and Sister Arnold have all had heart surgery in the last few months. Pastor Steve Sullivan's father, Cheryl LaChance, and Kenny Prinzel have heart issues, as do baby Elsie and baby Brantley Joe. Others with kidney problems, Jim Connor, who's awaiting a kidney transplant. Aubrey and Loren have kidney issues. Uh, brother Virgil Pulliam's brother needs healing of his kidneys, as well as healing of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreatitis. Uh, we have uh, 
several children needing prayer today. Baby Laney Clark has RSV. Abel Ray suffers from PKU syndrome. Tyler Lopez has spina bifida. Abram Page has GNAL1 disorder. Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker are going through uh, cancer treatments. And Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach have juvenile diabetes. Adults who are dealing with diabetes include Tim Workman, Emily Stanley, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Pulliam, J.R. Johnson, who also has some other health issues, uh, Terry Adams' friend Marsha, and myself. Beulah Ziegler has difficulty walking and needs a healing touch uh, today from head to toe uh, due to the effects of Parkinson's disease. Ron Bryant, Russ, and Tim Workman all needing healing of Parkinson's as well. Lana Taylor, Leslie Pride, and Gerald Hudson all suffer with dementia. Uh, Kristen Contino asks us to pray for Nathan Van Ingman, who has been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, Leslie Sutton also submits a new uh, prayer request in that regard for a dear friend of hers, Jenny Coffey, who started chemotherapy yesterday. And uh, Lisa Workman, who has been battling cancer for some time, has now been given 24 months to live um, as the cancer has invaded her liver. She also had a bad reaction to chemotherapy day before yesterday. Many others battling cancer. Uh, James Graham's aunt, Christy Smith, Kathy Bloss, David Harris, Michael Boland, Linda Fox, Diane Escher, Alicia Piero, Claire, John Fitzgerald, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, Aaron Payne, Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Kathy Birch, Dennis Phelps, Ari Bowers, Sylvia Lairmore, Brother Kirk, Edie Percival, Del Bishop, Philip Randall, and Lydia. Let's keep praying for uh, Mara Sullivan, James Graham, and Beth Wheatley. They all suffer with migraine headaches. Kevin Gossett is very sick and needs healing today. We're also continuing to pray for several others with physical needs, including Chloe Isaac, Baby Macy, Brother and Sister Pulliams, Granddaughter Morgan, Jimmy Holden, Meredith, Bobby Larmy, Nicole, Shirley Garner, Regina Bishop, and Judy Williams' sister, Mary, all needing a healing touch today. And I might mention, as I've forgotten to do so, that uh, Chloe was able to return to school after a few weeks of not being able to be in class due to physical issues. And so we thank the Lord today for that progress for her. We need to keep praying for J.B. Goforth, who's been on hospice care for quite some time. We have many family needs and spiritual needs to pray for today. Grace's best friends family, Annette and Dave, Alicia, the Stewart family, James and Angela Graham, and their family, and Debbie Biddick's family all need our continued prayers today for family situations. Josh, Jamie, Dan, Dalton, Charles, and Dylan need deliverance from uh, drug addiction. Um, also, uh, we have a situation in which a, um, a person is wanting to come to our Celebrate Recovery class um, as an alternative to other uh, mandated treatment by uh, the court system. And so we're asking everyone to pray that uh, that request would be honored and that we would be able to enroll that person in our recovery group. Sheila Outlaw, Charles and Amber Gossett, uh, Barbara Owens, Josiah, Pam Pulliam's children, Regina Marlin's family, Terry Adams' children, Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's family, our Job Corps students and alumni, Mingo Residential Care residents, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Judy and Mike Williams family, Mark and Caitlin, Beulah's family, Haley, Rose, Evie, Connor, and Carl, Caroline Sexton's family, Cheryl's family member, all needing our continued prayers for their spiritual needs today. Demarcus and Andrea were involved in a car accident um, a couple of weeks ago and were not injured in the accident but are trying to navigate through the insurance claim. So let's continue praying that that will work out. Grace has a physical test this month that she has to do, and because she sprained her ankle recently, she needs some strength and endurance in order to meet the requirements of that test. Carmen and Grace have been on vacation this week, and we ask for your continued prayers for their safety, uh, smooth connections, 
uh, and their overall health as they complete their trip. Leslie Sutton asked us to pray that they'll be able to get moved to their new property soon as the rental that they are currently in is unsuitable for them. And so let's unite in prayer for that need today. I welcome each of you this morning joining me for this time of prayer and study of God's Word. Sister Pam, good to see you this morning. Kristen, Judy, and Marcia, and Sherman, we thank God for each of you who are here, here with us live. And uh, as you are joining this morning, go ahead and hit the like or love button or leave a comment of some kind. That way we'll know who all is involved in prayer team today. It's always a great encouragement to me uh, to go back and, and look and see who's praying with us. And I know it's an encouragement to the others as well. Of course, you can also go ahead and post any prayer requests that you have this morning. And as others see those throughout the day, they will join with you in prayer. What an important function, what an important activity that we are involved in today uh, to just to be able to take people's needs to the Lord in prayer and have an audience with Him. What a privilege that is. I want to read to you this morning from Romans 8, verse 28, verse 29, uh, most probably the most quotable verses, um, at least for myself, quoted very often, and I'm sure that you know these verses by heart as well. In fact, we've referenced them many times uh, to the side as we're doing our prayer and devotion. The scripture comes up quite often. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. That's God's purpose for us to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. We've been talking about that uh, quite extensively over the past um, couple of weeks. You know, um, there was a virus recently, of course we talk about the COVID virus quite a bit, but there was a different type of virus uh, that attacked the world um, not too long ago called WannaCry. It's a virus that does not attack the human body, but it attacks data in computer systems. And what it does is it causes all data in the computer to disappear. It's even able to drain money uh, through your credit card accounts. So no wonder this virus is called want to cry because it causes us to cry due to the loss of data and the loss of money and the upsetting of our very livelihoods. There are many things in this world that cause us to cry. It could be our job, our relationship with others, our failed relationship um, with a spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend, our loss of money, job termination, so many things. Of course, you've heard the story of Job in the Bible. Job was a rich man, and what was his wealth? In Job 1 and 3, it said he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 donkeys. He had a large number of servants, and he was uh, acknowledged as the greatest man among all the people of the East. But one day, God allowed Job to experience bad situations. A disaster happened to his children that caused 10 of them to die. He lost his wealth, and then he had a terrible skin disease. His wife even mocked him. And what was Job's response toward all these disasters? Well, instead of complaining, Job kept living in holiness, and God restored his situation and returned double the amount that he had lost in that time frame. And so this begs the question today, what is our response or attitude when problems happen to us? Because the outcome of our situation really hinges upon our response to it. And of course, we all ask at times, God, why does this problem, why has this issue come into my life? But we need to just think upon the lessons that we can learn from those problems and difficulties that come to us in life because the word has assured us that all these things are working together for the good of them that love God and are the called according to 
his purpose. And so over the next couple of days, we're going to talk about the things that we need to learn from these trials of life and how that we can get through them. Amen. I trust that you'll join me uh, tomorrow for our last session of the week, and then we'll pick this back up on Monday and continue learning from the life of Job. Amen. But let's understand today that whatever that we're going through, whatever grief, misery, happiness, uh, whatever our situation is today, all things are working together for our good if we are united with God's purpose. Uh, if you're not in God's purpose, then it's a sad thing because to suffer without purpose is a whole other thing than to suffer in God's purpose. Amen. So let's uh, let's make sure today that we're united with God's plan and that we are walking in the steps that he's ordered for us. If we'll do that, then that promise of the word of God is sure for us today. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for another day. Lord, I thank you that I can, I can just come into your presence and I don't want to ever take for granted that you're going to be here. I know that you're going to be here. I know that you were here waiting on me this morning before I entered this studio, and I thank you for that. But help me, God, never to take for granted your very presence. Oh, I love you, God. I thank you for your mercy and grace. I thank you for your presence that's flowing right now across the airwaves, your presence that's moving in all of our lives as we're praying together. Your word has promised us that where two or three are gathered together in your name that you would be there in the midst and although our gathering is virtual today lord i know that you're bringing us together in spirit and that your presence is in our midst right now hallelujah let your presence flow from this prayer meeting this morning and move in people's lives oh we submit our will to your will today and our plans we yield them to your grand plan today and we trust you, Lord, with every need, with every situation. We believe for your provision today. We trust you, Lord, with circumstances that we don't understand. We give them all to you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness. Oh, we praise you, God. We worship your name. Move in these needs today, Lord. We believe for continued recovery for each one who has just been through a surgery or had a car accident, or Lord, or those who have suffered stroke and other debilitating conditions that they're having to go through therapy to recover from. We believe, God, that you are accelerating the healing process today for each of them. And we pray for Beth today, for Beth Yandel, who's facing surgery, God, that your hand would be upon her, that you would comfort her heart in Jesus' name. Give her peace, Lord, before she goes in for that surgery. We pray for your peace and comfort today for these families who are grieving the loss of their loved one. Lord, for the family of Charlene and Darlis and Reverend David Phillips. We pray for Joy Wicks and for her family today as they grieve the loss of Robert. We pray, Lord, for the family of Jerry Williams Lord, we thank you that he's no longer suffering, but we ask for your, your comfort and your strength for his family as they go through this time. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for healing of the lungs today for those who are suffering with lung conditions. You see each one of them today, those who are recovering from pneumonia, those who are needing oxygen support after battling with covid those with COPD and other conditions today, we believe, Lord, for your healing touch. We pray for those with stomach issues today. Touch Olivia. Touch Pastor Godby's daughter and Sister Terry Adams. We pray, Lord, for Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Aubrey, today. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, for Regina's granddaughters, Lord, for their sinus infections to clear up. We pray for Jamie Jo today needing healing of her liver for Brother DeLott and Brother March who are battling with MS. We pray for those with back issues today, those dealing with arthritis pain. Lord, you've heard every name that's been called out this morning in this prayer gathering. 
and we believe for their healing today. Those having pain and trouble with their hips and legs and knee joints, we speak healing right now. We pray for Melvin, Lord, who's in kidney failure after having a heart attack on dialysis, needing open heart surgery, needing those kidneys to come out of failure. We pray for Brother Neil's dad today, Lord, with stage four renal failure and CHF. Lord, we believe for healing for him and for these others who have had heart procedures and have current heart issues. We believe for your healing touch. For baby Elsie and baby Brantley Joe, Lord, touch their hearts today. In Jesus' name, these others, Lord, who have kidney problems, we believe for their healing today. For Jim Connor, for Aubrey, for Lorraine, for Brother Pulliam's brother, we pray today for baby Laney dealing with RSV. We pray for these other children this morning, Lord, who are suffering in their body. Touch Abel Ray and Tano Lopez. We believe for healing for Lorelei and Jenna and Tucker, for Abram Page, for Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach. Lord, you're the healer of diabetes today. There's nothing that's too hard for you. We pray for each and every adult who's suffering with diabetes today, Lord, for your healing touch for them. We come against COVID infection in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you see every active case in our county. We thank you, Lord, for the progress that's being made. And we believe, Lord, for this uh, virus, Lord, to be uh, turned away to be sent back from which it came in Jesus' name. We pray for those battling with Parkinson's, for Tim and Russ, for my dad, for my mother-in-law today, for those suffering with dementia. Touch Lana and Leslie and Gerald this morning. We pray for Nathan Van Ingman and for Jenny Coffey, who have just been diagnosed with cancer, and for Jenny, who started chemo yesterday. We pray for Lisa Workman, Lord, who's been given a very poor prognosis and, and having bad reactions to chemotherapy. We pray for your help for her today. Lord, you are our healer. You are our provider, oh God. We trust in you for each and every one that's battling cancer today, for James's aunt, for Kathy Bloss, for Christy Smith, for Michael Bolin and David Harris and Alicia Piero. We pray for Linda Fox and for Diane Escher, for Claire, for Marcia's friends, grandparents, for John Fitzgerald, for Dwayne Lewis and Aaron Payne, for Kathy Burks, for Terry Adams' friend, for Dennis Phelps and Sylvia Larimore. We pray for Brother Kirk and for Edie Percival, for Ari Bowers, for Dell Bishop and Lydia and Philip Randall. Lord, you are the healer of all manner of sickness and disease. We give you the praise and the glory today for what you're doing, Lord. We pray for Beth Wheatley, for Mara Sullivan, for James Graham, believing for healing of migraines today. We believe for healing for Kevin Gossett this morning. Hallelujah. We pray for Chloe and baby Macy, for Meredith and Morgan, for Bobby Larming and Jimmy Holden, for Nicole, for Shirley Garner and Regina Bishop, and for Judy Williams' sister Mary. We believe for that healing touch that they need today. Touch J.B. Go forth today. Oh, God, he needs a miracle, and you are the giver of miracles today. You are the miracle worker. Work in our families, God. We pray for Grace's best friend's family, for Annette and Dave, Lord, that you would move in their marriage, for Alicia, for the Stewart family, for James and Angela Graham and family, for Debbie Biddick's daughters today. Move in their lives, Lord, in every spiritual need this morning for those who are suffering from addiction, those that are needing to be accepted into recovery programs, Lord. We believe, God, that everything will be connected and everything will work out. Hallelujah. It's not your will that any should perish, Lord. And we believe for deliverance today for Josh and Jamie, for Dan and Dalton and Charles and Dylan and for so many others who are suffering from addiction today. We pray, Lord, for the spiritual needs among our family and friends and loved ones. Move in Sheila's need today. Touch Charles and Amber Gossett, Barbara Owens and Josiah and Sister Pulliam's children, Regina's family, Terry's children, Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, our job course students, our residents at Mingo Residential Care, Jennifer and Brenda's family and Judy and Mike's family today. We pray for Mark and Caitlin and for Beulah's family for Haley and Evie and for Connor, for Rose and Carl, Lord, that they would receive your great salvation. 
We pray for Caroline's family today that they would turn their hearts toward you, for Cheryl's family member. We pray for DeMarcus and Andrea today, God, that everything would work out with their insurance claim. In Jesus' name, we pray for grace today, Lord, that she would be able to pass this physical test that she's facing. We pray, Lord, for Carmen and Grace, for your protection for them as they're traveling throughout the rest of this week. And we pray for Leslie Sutton today, for her family, Lord, that they would be able to get moved to their new property. And we give you the praise and the glory for all that you're doing in our lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the answer today to every problem. And we thank you for that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for praying with me again today. I pray God's blessings upon you throughout this day as you submit your life to the will of God that he might use you today to be a blessing to someone else. I look forward to praying with you again tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. as we prepare to head into uh, the weekend. And um, let's just have a, a great prayer session tomorrow morning and believe for God's continued blessings. God bless you today is my prayer in Jesus' name.